So we're testing reaction time by using a machine called a basin test. Uh, this is a device used in clinical settings and research settings, uh, used with pro athletes like baseball players uh, to baseline their reaction time and then measure changes over time. We're going to take the Overwatch team and the League of Legends team, pit them against each other, uh, and see who reacts faster right now. And the winning team is going to get some gift cards to go get some free food. So the idea is you're going to try to react as a baseball player would, pretend this is the pitch flying at you. You want to hit it right here. Right. Mm -hmm. So you stand right there like you're looking at a picture. Uh, if you hit it up here, you're too fast. If you hit it down here, you're too slow. You'll lose points. The average MLB player is 51 milliseconds. Okay. Okay. There's a correlation between the strike time. Let me see if this is wrong. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh! Oh! I can do this all day, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Right, this is bad. <laughs> I think I got the worst one. Is it a good start? Let's we'll see. Don't feed. Oh! Let's go. Let's go, Let's go man. This is real bad. <laughs> oh, shit. That was bad. GG. Hey, <laughs> just flying past me. <laughs> I'm tilted. I'm tilted. I doomed it. Oh, oh man. Okay, Jordan. Okay, 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 okay. baby. Oh, shit. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Run it back. That's tough. Is there one more? Oh! So by testing reaction time with the eSports program and the students in the eSports program at Maryville, that's going to give us a lot of data on how fast reaction time is in different games, MOBAs or certain shooters. And also, if you put somebody on a regimen of supplementation, if you add to their diet, if you give them more nutrition in their diet, how much will that help boost their reaction time? And in what period of time will that be improved?